my channel. If you are new, thanks so much for watching. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. So today, I just kind of want to show you guys like how I do my breast pumping routine. So when I went back to work full time, I had no idea like what to do. I had no idea how many times to pump, like what to bring to work. And I was so confused and stressed out. Like I saw videos on Pinterest and YouTube. There were like moms who were stay at home moms. That didn't really help me out that much. So. I'm hoping this video will help at least one mom out or maybe two and definitely share you guys your tips below on how you guys pump if you're a full-time mama. What tips do you have and tricks do you have to help your pumping routine be smooth at work? So, All right guys, so I normally will pump four times in a day. Um, the first time I will pump is five o'clock in the morning. So you're just watching me basically clean out the pump that I had just used earlier that morning. And I'm cleaning it and sanitizing it so that it's ready to go for work. In my last video, I shared the Medela Quick Clean Bag and it is a lifesaver, guys. Like you can just clean your parts, put it in the bag, and then put it in the microwave and it's ready to go. So definitely, definitely recommend that one. So it's a very realistic um, routine because I didn't even clean the table off before I recorded. Like, this is just real life, guys. Our apartment is so messy, but we are moving soon. So the best that I can do, so. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just drying off the pumps that I use in the middle of the night. Um, so I do pump like in the evening, like about 10 o'clock at night. So I had already cleaned them, but I'm just making sure that they're dry so that they're ready to go in the bag. So the parts are ready. I am just dumping them out and I am checking when I use them. You have to tally every time you use them. That's what I'm doing right now. So now I'm just packing up my bottles. I use a Medela like little lunch box. Um, you know what you call it, but it definitely keeps your like bottles of milk cold. It has a little ice pack in the middle and it keeps it cold for about like 12 hours. It's a really, really good investment to make. And I'm just packing up my um, breast pump and parts in my Target bag. I got that as like a gift registry bag and it fits my parts perfectly. So I've been using that for a while. And I put that in another gray bag with my lunchbox and then we are ready to go. I usually put it by the door so that it's ready to go when I'm about to leave out. So. All right, so now I just got to work and because of the pandemic and it's just super stressful, I make sure I clean everything down before I get to work. Like I'm constantly cleaning stuff down. 
throughout the day. So that's what you see me doing. I'm cleaning up my desk before I put my lunchbox and my bag on the table. So before I go to pump, I make sure that I wash my hands for 20 seconds, like the CDC says, and that is what I am doing. When I leave the classroom, I make sure I don't touch anything. So I'm using my paper towel to open up the door. And once again, I am cleaning down the table. Like I am constantly cleaning the table, guys. Like you're not gonna catch me like being unsafe. Like I'm gonna clean down everything. That's what I'm doing. I'm normally the only person in this room, this little like corridor thing, but this would be safe. I'm gonna clean it down before. So I'm just pouring the milk into one bottle so I can put the cap on it and put it back in my bag. That's what I normally do. It's just easier to just put in the fridge when I get home. Right, so I am just putting the parts back in the bag because they drip with the milk. I'm sure you guys don't know. Um, I just put it back in the bag because it's not leaking on my other um, parts. So that is why I use a plastic bag with me every day. Right, so I just finished pumping and I'm going to pack up my bag. Uh, my pump is portable, but the batteries, they just do not last very long. So my coworker actually like put in an extension cord for me, which I'm so grateful for. So I'm just going to unplug that, and that helps out a ton because batteries are expensive. All right, so that's the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and see you next week. Bye.